Okay, matrix multiplication. Let's see if we can get you to understand how to multiply two matrices in around 10 minutes. Okay, but before we get going, if you need more help with um, algebra, uh, matrices, uh, uh, whatever algebra you're taking, I'll leave a link in the description of this uh, video for my full uh, math courses if you like my teaching style and you need additional help, okay? But with that being said, let's just jump right into it. Um, and let me just say one additional thing. This is just going to be a quick example. I think you'll understand uh, from this example, though, generally how to multiply two matrices. But, uh, you know, you if you're struggling with this topic, you, you may need additional help beyond this video. OK, but this is this should help you uh, tremendously. OK, so let's get right to it. So here I have two matrices and. Uh, the written, uh, when you have a matrix like this, okay, you can tell this is a matrix that has the brackets. When you write it next to another matrix, um, that means that what's going on here is matrix multiplication. Okay, sometimes you'll see a little dot there, but generally it's like this. So the first thing we need to determine is whether we can actually multiply two matrices. Okay, now when we're talking about a particular matrix, we have rows, these are the rows. OK, <clears throat> yeah, so let's go and write these here. These are our rows. And then this way, in this direction, these are columns. OK, so these are the columns. So each matrix has a, a particular what we call dimension to it, or, or sometimes they use the word order or size. So we, we always give the size of a matrix by a row and its column. OK, so this first one has what? Two rows. It's a two by two matrix, two rows, two columns. The second one is what? This is two rows also, but it has three columns. OK, so now you'll see why this is important here in a second uh, in terms of matrix multiplication. Let me get rid of all this stuff. OK, so. Now, when, we, when we're um, looking at a matrix, first of all, we need to be able to determine whether we can actually multiply two matrices together. OK, so in order to determine that, we need to look at the sizes of the matrix. OK, so <clears throat> specifically, this matrix is this matrix here is to the left of this larger matrix. OK, so this is a two by two. So we want to write this size this way, and then we have this this size here, two by three to the right, okay? So the way you know whether you can multiply two matrices is you look at these numbers here, okay? The second number of the first matrix, okay? This would be the column, <clears throat> and this would be the row of the second. So if these two numbers here are the same, then you can actually multiply these two matrices together, okay? Now, if these two numbers are different, you can't even do the problem. You're not even able to actually do uh, any matrix multiplication. So you just skip that, right? Now, before we leave, though, we want to take a look at this number and this number, OK? Because these two numbers here are going to indicate the size of the matrix, the product, OK? When we multiply these two matrices together, our answer is going to be a 2 by 3. A two by three. Okay, so I don't want to spend too much time on here because I'm going to try to keep this video nice and short. But that's the first thing you need to do when you're going to when you're going to be multiplying uh, two matrices together. You got to first check one: can you actually do it? Right. And so we check these numbers. Okay, and if these numbers are the same, then you're good to go to actually multiply. But then the second step is to determine the size of the matrix. So our answer is going to be a two by three. Two rows, three columns, very, you know, basically the same size as this guy right here. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let me erase all this. Okay, so we know we're gonna have a two by three. Now I'm gonna write a big bracket down here. You'll see why here in a second. All right, so this is a big two by three. You know, it's kind of elongated like so. And this is gonna be our answer, our product. Now before we go on, I need to explain one other uh, thing to you in terms of before we can actually start calculating the product of these two matrices. What we need to do is understand uh, the position of these various entries, okay? So this first one, this guy right here, 
is in the position of row one, column one, okay? Because this is the first row, this is the second row, this is the first column, and this is the second column, okay? Let's go over here. What position do you think this guy is in right here, okay, in this matrix? What row and what column? So this negative two is in what? Row two, column two. Row two, column two. All right? Okay, so if you understand that, and it's pretty pretty straightforward, then we're kind of ready now to actually start calculating out the uh, product of these two matrices. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, so remember, we have a uh, two by three is going to be our answer. So we're gonna have an answer, a number here, a number here, a number here, and then we call this a number or value or an entry here, here, and here, right? So we got to get values, and this will be our final answer. So let's take a look at this first one right here, okay? So this first spot is what? What position is that? This is the row one column one, correct? Okay, row one, column one. So that's where this position's at in our, in our answer. So what you need to understand when we do matrix multiplication is we're gonna use the rows of this matrix to the left and we're gonna use the columns of the matrix to the right, okay? So just remember that. We're gonna use the rows, the first one, and the columns of the second one. So the way this is going to work is this way. I'm going to use the rows here, and I'm going to use the columns here. Now, to get this first entry, row one, column one, right? That's where this is at. Row one, column one. This is the position of this matrix. I want to use row one of this guy <clears throat> and column one of this guy. You see that? Row one, column one, row one, column one. Now, we're getting there. So matrix multiplication, it, it's quite confusing for students when they first start learning this for obvious reasons. But once you do a lot of these, uh, get just to get some practice, this will become easy uh, to you. Now, let's get rid of all of this stuff here for a second. All right, let me actually get rid of this so we can see what's going on. Because once you understand I do one entry, then you can get the rest of these guys here. Okay, so we're just looking to get row one, column one, this first top left entry here okay so this is row one column one now here is what you do you take the first number of the row and you're going to multiply it by the first number of the column so that's going to be three times one okay see what i just did then you're going to put an addition sign you're going to add and then you're going to move forward along the row okay so you're going to move to this guy and you're going to move down on the column you're going to do the same thing you're going to multiply four times three. Do you understand what I just did? Let's review it. So row one, column one, I'm using row one because you're going to use the rows of the first and the columns of the second. So you're going to start with the first entries going from left to right and top down. So you're going to go with this and this. And you're going to multiply three times one. Then you're going to add and you're going to just scoot yourself over to the right and scoot down. Now, uh, well, let's just continue. Continue. So you're now going to use four and three. Now, if there was additional entries here, if these were larger matrices, you would just continue this on. Okay, it's no more difficult than that. So let's finish this up. So, <clears throat> row one, column one. We do these calculations. What am I? What am I going to get? Three times one is three plus uh, four times three is twelve. So our answer is what? Three plus twelve is fifteen. All right, so let's actually put our our final answer. Let's see if we can scoot everything over. I'm going to do my best to try to scoot things over a little bit so we can just put everything in one spot. And I'm a big believer in, in if you understand how to do one problem, like totally get it, then you should be able to do all problems, okay? So let's put our final answer here, right? So we already determined our, our final answer was going to be a two by three matrix. And we just determined that first entry there, okay, which is 15. All right. Let's go ahead and do another one now. Uh, let's do this next one, okay? 
So this would be this position here. So first of all, you got to determine which row and which column is that. I'm going to erase all this here so you're not confused. Okay. So you got to determine which row and column we're going to be talking about. Well, this is still row one. Okay, this is row two, Whoop, row two, and this is what column one, column two, column three is over here. So this position is row one, column two. Okay, row one, column two. So we're going to use row one's information and column two's information, and we're going to do the same thing. Okay, as we did over here. So it's going to be 3 times 5, okay, so 3 times 5, let's go ahead and write that out, plus, okay, now I'm going to move over, 4 times negative 2. Okay, and then when I'm going to go and do all that calculation, this is going to be 15 plus negative 8. So if I did my math right here, that should be, what, a positive 7, correct? So that is our entry right there. Okay. So, do we understand what's going on here? Now, I'm going to try to keep this video, uh, I might be going over the 10 minutes, but hopefully you're kind of, you know, getting it, and, and so I don't want to cut off uh, too quickly here. Let's go ahead and continue on, all right? I'm going to erase this now, okay? Let's see if you can remember uh, how to do this next entry, okay? And let's move over here. We'll do this entry right here, okay? So... First of all, you got to determine what position is this, okay? So it's going to be what? Row 1, column 3. So this is the row 1, column 3. So i got to use row 1's information still and now column 3's information. And now let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to be 3 times 2 is 6. Let's go ahead and just write it out this way. Plus 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, so 3 times 2 is 6, plus 4 times 4 is 16, and that will be 22. So our answer is 22 right there. Okay, hopefully you're getting the hang of this. Let's move on, okay? We're going to return to the next entry, and you can always rewind the video here if you're uh, confused. And this is confusing when you first learn this. It, <laughs> I mean, you should see, um, it's kind of... Put this here, column two, column three. We're not concerned with the columns here. We're not concerned with the rows here. When, when you know, mathematically, if you look at a textbook, you know, uh, and they're explaining this, it can be very confusing. And sometimes you just got to, matrix multiplication is one of those things you just have to see in an action. And once you get it and you're like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's try to finish this problem out here. So this guy right here is going to be what? What's the position? The position of this entry is what? Row 2, column 1. So this is row 2, column 1. So now i got to use row 2 here in the rows. Okay, not the first one now. Row 2, and now I'm back to column 1. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1, plus, I'm going to move over, 6 times 3, which is what? 18. So our final answer is 17. So we're going to put that here, 17. That's our answer for that entry. Now let's keep it going. Let's move right here. So what's our entry? This is going to be row 2, column 2. Let me erase this so we don't confuse this. Now obviously you're not going to have the luxury of using a nice tablet you know, to kind of keep track of everything here. So you're, you know, I definitely suggest using pencil when you're doing these problems and giving yourself plenty of room on your paper uh, to do these calculations until you get a lot of practice and you can, you know, you're more efficient at doing these problems correctly. By the way, too, it is so, so, so easy to make a mistake when you're doing these calculations. As a teacher, a math teacher, I would grade um, uh, problems. And what is very typical is students will get Let's say this is a two by three, you know, a two by three answer. Obviously, here there's going to be six entries. Students would get five out of the six correct, and so they would not get the right answer because they messed up on one calculation. They knew how to do it, but they're messing up just doing the arithmetic. You've got to be so focused and double check your work as you go because it's so easy to make a mistake. Hopefully, I'm not making any errors here while I'm recording this video. So far, I think I'm okay. So let's move on. So we got row two, column two. 
row two, column two, and let's go ahead and do the same thing. So it's going to be negative one times five. Remember, we're going from left to right and top down. So negative one times five is a negative five plus six times negative two. That gives me a negative 12, right? So add those guys together, I get negative 17. So that'll be our position right there. Okay, we're getting there. We got one more to go. We got to get this guy and then we'll be done. So these problems do take uh, take some time. So this is our last entry here. And this is at what? Row two, column three. Row two, column three. And this is a pretty easy problem in terms of matrices. So you can have two three by three matrices, or they can get <laughs> these problems can get very uh, involved quickly. All right, let's finish up. Row two. We got row two and then column three. So row two, column three is this position here. So it's going to be negative one times two is negative two plus six times four is 24 that gives me 22 is my final answer okay so um hopefully i made no errors i don't think i did but definitely the procedure is correct okay in terms of how to uh, multiply these uh, two matrices and if uh, uh you know the video ran over a little bit more than 10 minutes uh, just think of it this way this now you know how to multiply matrices but if you need additional help, check out my uh, math courses. You can check them out in uh, the link in the description of the video uh, below. But um, that's is pretty much it. Take the time to learn how to multiply one problem like this. Once you get this procedure down, then you can handle any matrix problem, okay? Any matrix multiplication problem. But uh, hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I do a ton of these type of math videos, uh, so if you enjoy them, please consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification if you do so. And if this video helps you out, uh, maybe consider giving a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Try to read as many comments as possible uh, to see what kind of uh, videos you might be interested in that will help you out. But with that being said, I do appreciate your time. Good luck with those matrices, and have a great day.